I could do this all day, I could do this all night. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you how I edit my Instagram photos. And if you guys don't already follow me, go follow me. It's at Rory Illage. It's on the screen right now. So go check it out. So I'm going to be editing this photo. Obviously, it's photoshopped. It's inspired by Kellen's World. So his Instagram is going to be right here. But he's pretty famous already. So he doesn't really need a shout out from someone like me. Usually I would use my presets, so here's my one that I used for this photo originally, and I've got all these presets so you can see here. Um, the Steven Van ones you can download from a guy called Steven Van. I'll put his YouTube link on the screen right now, and also in the description so you guys can go check him out. He makes some awesome presets. And then I have my folder called Instagram Main, which are my main ones. So obviously that one looks good with dark, darker photos. Then this one's the next one after that is basically like the same kind of thing except it's a bit darker. My Kellen's World preset, that is my favourite one for this type of photo, it's like the nighttime kind of Photoshop photos. Then I've got the Moody Visco preset which looks good on some photos. Orange and Teal is my most used one and then SP042 is alright on some photos and sand cold color grading is not very good. Okay, so I'm going to reset it and I'm going to manually do it for you guys. So I kind of want a colder look on this so I think I'm going to go for the temperature at about minus 13 and bring the tint down probably a bit because it's got some nice greens in there that I might actually take out later but the tint looks good about nine is mine. Exposure I'm going to bring down a bit to make it look a bit more nighttime because the original photo was actually taken at daytime which you can see in the top left corner where it says navigator that is the original photo at daytime and contrast I'm going to bring up a little bit highlights I'm going to bring that up so the whites still look kind of normal and it doesn't look like I've just blown out all the brightness so I'm going to put that up at about plus 100 actually it looks pretty good shadows um uh, probably about plus 74 for the shadows but usually I bring them down whites I'm gonna bring up I basically for whites I just bring it up until the whites look like pure white blacks I usually bring down to bring out some like contrast and shadows the clarity I'm usually I put it up for urban photos but for this I kind of want to add the dreamy effect so I'm gonna bring the clarity down Vibrant, I always put up to about minus 60 and bring the saturation down so it doesn't look overblown so I might put the saturation at about minus 40 looks good. For the tone curve, I can do it manually, but typically I go to my presets and I have this folder called Film Main. I made lots out of these if you guys want to go check it out. Um, yeah, here it is. A Nate Cam Film Look. You can download these on the internet. Just search that folder up. I'm going to go to Film Fade 10 and go through them all and see which tone curve looks the best. So probably about 5 looks the best, so I'm going to keep it like that and that is my tone curve if you want to copy it, if you don't want to download the presets. Now I've got it all and then basically I just go through here and see it looks good. And if it doesn't make a difference really, I typically just set it back to 0. So I'm going to put reds at minus 100 so the pinks match it. The oranges don't make a difference, so I keep them at minus zero. Yellows, um, I'm probably gonna bring them down a bit and make them a bit more orange. Um, the greens, I think I might bring up a bit. Usually I would make it a bit more orange, but I think this one looks a bit cooler with aqua. Then for the aqua, um, that's kind of depicting the road. So I'm gonna try and make that list look as gray as possible. So about minus 18. The blue, that makes a huge difference in the sky. And I think a little bit of like green in the sky looks alright. The purple, um, I'm going to bring that all the way up I think. Bring out some pink and then magentas. It doesn't make that much of a difference. So I'll just keep that minus 100. Or about zero actually. Just so it doesn't change anything. Saturation, same thing again. Just go through them and see what matches. So I'm going to try and match that with the pink and keep it there. Then for the orange, um, that doesn't make much of a difference. I'm just going to set it at zero. Yellow, um, I'm probably going to bring those down a bit so there's not as many colours going on in the photo. And so it looks just kind of, um, looks like it has a look to it. Greens are going to bring down a bit. So that doesn't like overpower the sky. 
aquas. Um, I'm gonna bring down so the road looks a bit more grey, but not all the way. Blues, um, I'm gonna put up a bit because that's kind of the main part of the photo. Just a little bit. Purples, um, I'm gonna kind of keep that around zero a bit, a bit up. And the magentas, I'm just gonna match the purples so it kind of looks all together. Luminance, um, yeah, that looks good for red, orange, my, I'm just gonna keep it zero. And for yellow, I'm gonna bring it up a bit so it's a bit white. And then the greens, um, I'm probably gonna darken a tiny bit. So minus 12 looks good, minus 16. Aquas, I'm gonna bring Brat down to about minus 79. Then the blues, I'm gonna bring up a bit so that you can really see like the kind of Milky Way look in the sky. Purples, um, I might bring those down a bit because that looks a bit cool. And the magenta is only gonna match the purples, obviously. Now for split turning, I just put the saturation all the way up, go through the colors and see if anything looks good. So for highlights, sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't. I'm just gonna keep that at zero. And then I just have to go up and see where it looks good with that color, but I think I'm not gonna do highlights. Balance only works if you have any highlights or shadows going on. Then I'm gonna do the exact same for the shadows, put the hue, saturation all, all the way up, I mean, and then find what looks good. So I'm gonna go, gonna go for a bluey green look with the shadows and then bring saturation down and slowly move up. So that looks good at about 18. Now for noise reduction, I want it to add a bit of a dream look after the, even after the clarity. So basically I just put it at 100 and then slowly go down until I find where it looks good. So I genuinely just zoom in until, and then I can like kind of tell the details and I don't want to um, completely blow out the details so I'm gonna keep that at around 50 and I'm just gonna go to another part of the photo see it looks good I want to be a detail in that van so I'm gonna put that at minus I mean plus 32 now I tick both those and you make sure you tick the enable profile corrections and then set it to whatever camera you have if they have it but it's already on iPhone 7 which I took this on guys you don't need the best camera another example I just shot this on a phone and this looks decent. Okay, so what the hell is going on? Okay, so for the shadows, I'm gonna keep that at zero. Red saturation and hue. Um, probably gonna keep that about plus. Um, yeah. I'm gonna bring the noise reduction down a bit so it doesn't look as dreamy because it's a bit blurred out. All right, that red looks good. All right, so green, I'm gonna bring the, probably the hue up a bit so it looks a bit more aqua, which looks kind of cool. And then I'm just gonna bring the saturation down a bit to about plus 80. Then for my blue, um, I'm gonna keep that down a bit so probably about minus 17 maybe minus 44 that looks pretty good and minus 21 and then i'm just going to bring the saturation down so it doesn't look as fake okay guys that's it for this video if you guys did enjoy be sure to drop a like share if you're friendship enjoyed and subscribe for new and i'll see you guys in the next one